I, I've had a great opportunity eh, in the last month and a half. I got asked to write the preface to the 50th anniversary edition of Solzhenitsyn's Gulag Archipelago. Mm. And so I've been writing that. And one of the things Solzhenitsyn did, which was one of the things he, one of the things that made that book arguably the greatest work of nonfiction of the 20th century, I mean, it's in the top 10 anyways, was to point out very clearly that the excesses of the Russian Revolution started right away. It wasn't that Lenin was a pretty good guy and then Stalin came in and corrupted everything. It was like Lenin was not a pretty good guy. The revolution got bloody really fast. And what seemed to happen, so imagine you, you, you started to divide the world up into oppressor and oppressed, right? And you're going to do something about the oppressors. The problem is, is that you can define people multiple ways. This is the intersectionality problem. And almost everybody can be defined in terms of their group identity in some way that makes them an oppressor. So like if you're a black man, well, you could argue that you're oppressed because you're black, but what about the fact that you're a man? 